The success story from the University of Cape Coast and beaming with smiles and uh, we want to say a very big thank you to the authorities at the Cape Coast University or University of Cape Coast for making sure that our story is getting some results and persons with disability are getting some respite there. Let's turn our attention now to my guest in studio. Joshua Makubu is a, a disability advocate. He joins us here together with uh, Rose Fusuhima who is also the Special Education Division uh, person to speak with at the Ghana Education Service. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank this conversation you. is made possible by Star Ghana Foundation with support from Danida UK Aid and the European Union. We're making progress, aren't we? Joshua, how does this come to you? Um, <laughs> thank you very much and a very good morning to your cherished listeners and uh, thank you so much to Star Ghana Foundation mm. for their support. Um, this is good news, mm. but the question is, must we wait to uh, TV tray take this news that way, mm. but yet better late than never. Yeah. Uh, I just hope that what uh, Kevas has done now, mm. uh, other public universities uh, like Legon, mm. and other institutions that are places of what public uh, mm. um, use will emulate it and they wouldn't have to wait mm. till we get there. And just as the gentleman was saying, mm. in as much as this is uh, positive to us. Let's look at the silent ones mm. that will kill us. Uh, maybe the universities, my fear is that I could get to the extent that maybe when they see an applicant who has indicated uh, I have this ability, mm. at the end of the day, you might not even be admitted. Admitted because and you no, don't have uh, the facilities uh, yeah. to accommodate. And, and, and they wouldn't come out to say that they are not admitting you because of your disability. Mm. You just didn't get admission. You can't question that. That, that would be ridiculous, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be very ridiculous. And I'm telling you that in the employment sector, it's happening. Wow. And sometimes when you get the opportunity to interact with some people who you are not seeking employment from mm -hmm. them, and you are, they, are, they are bold to tell you that these are some of the reasons hiring a person with disability comes with what? Extra cost. Mm -hmm. But in some of the cases, you realize that it is not extra cost. It's just about common sense mm -hmm. okay. and then uh, a respect for what? Human rights. You may not have to spend mm. so much. Mm. Why can't we just maybe forget about stairs and then go all ramps? Since when the ramps are created, persons with that disability tend to use the ramps even more than us. Okay. <sighs> Rose, this is good news. Uh, the, the gutters have been covered. The pavements have been constructed. I mean, largely, there's still more that we want to live yeah. a twist. The SRC Disability Day is celebrated. Um, Good news for you where you sit. What more can we be asking for? Thank you so much and good morning to your cherished viewers. I am so happy. Mm. I don't even know how to express myself. And that is what we are looking forward for. Mm. We thank Star Ghana so much for the support he's putting in in that direction. Mm. Yes, it's good news, but we need to do more. Okay. And How? most of our public places at our institutions, mm. even not in the university, primary school, basic school, mm. secondary schools, especially secondary schools with boarding mm. facilities mm. that are store buildings, we have this challenge. But what always amuses me is we are able to construct staircases. Mm. For who? for the majority. Mm. Ramps and steps, which one is more expensive? Ram is very easy to construct and cheaper. Yet we are not able because the individual mm. who is the contractor, the engineer, mm. the supervisor, orientation that that person has mm. is not geared towards disability. Do you have conversations because with them? We have. We have, when we were beginning this policy, mm. we went around the whole country okay. to sensitize the key stakeholders. Because if the key stakeholders do not accept mm. the policy, mm. we can move on right. before we even put the pen on the paper. So we went through all the district assembly, the market, the transport, mm. Mm. all the unions. We sensitized them. And, and yet nothing and seems yet to be working. And yet because the individual mm. who has been put 
given that responsibility. Mm. Things, disabilities for somebody. Okay. So until we change our attitude as a people, mm. we will only be talking, but we will not see action. Joshua, you you are a PhD cohort at the University of Ghana, Lagon. You, you have similar challenges like uh, uh, Samuel has had in, in, the, in the University of Cape Coast? Uh, yeah, I think I've said this here over and over again. Uh, I live at a VACO phase one mm -hmm. uh, at the University of Ghana. Mm -hmm. Our reading room, where the internet facility is good and there's air conditioning, is conducive for learning, is on the second floor. Mm -hmm. And since I've been there, I've never been able to access it. Wow. I have to stay in my room. Yesterday, for instance, uh, some articles were sent to me by a friend from the UK. Mm -hmm. I needed to do some literature search more. Okay. And I have to remain at the ground floor and the internet went uh, off. Those at the reading room were able to access it. But you couldn't? I couldn't because <coughs> if I should get up that I want to go there, by the time I get there, I would have been panting. Wow. That is at the University of Ghana. But one interesting thing is that this thing, the, the university as an institution mm -hmm. has policies okay. to make learning easier for persons with disabilities. Right. And when you go to the graduate school, the policy is that when you are a student with disability, they give you Legon Hall and XC, which okay. is also a graduate block. Right. There, most of the facilities are on the ground floor, okay. the reading room, the TV room, and other things. So it's friendly. It's friendly. Okay. When there was one hall tutor, Dr. Josiah, mm. and I met him, my first time of meeting was when I came to do my info. Okay. The moment you appeared with the admission letter and you are a student with disability, you were given accommodation. His term ended and he moved away. Dr. Weafi came there and the story was different. What was the different story? The different story is that when I wanted to go there, because I had stayed there, mm -hmm. and he was, a, a, what do you call it, a deputy to Dr. Josiah. I went to his place. He kept asking me, go and come, go and come. I went to report to the office of students with who special needs. Mm -hmm. They called him on phone. It was difficult. I was there one day when they coordinated the place. They called to the pro vice chancellor. Mm -hmm. And it's like he was helpless. Because one individual is there, and it's not ready to do the right thing. Why are you keeping the person there? He's an individual. If he cannot do the right thing, I'm also an individual. Get him out of that place. And let somebody who appreciates You're asking for the man's head. Yeah, he should, he should have been removed. But he's not here to explain himself. So that Maybe one day we should get him here. Mm. Maybe one day we should get him here. We'll, we'll try and get him here because we want to be fair. Audi, Alter and Patem give the other party a chance to speak. But our closing thoughts, Madam, where do we go from here? Uh, for example, in the construction of new classroom blocks or facilities for education because we want to make it inclusive. The policy is that we must have ramps in there to make it accessible but it is not being done is it that we are unable to call the people who are to execute the contract to order or we're just helpless because perhaps it's donor funding so we keep quiet thank you very much if it is donor funding that's one will even be easier because they are ready to help us to move on to make our buildings accessible mm. But the problem is the individual who is executing the problem, mm -hmm. the, the construction. The, the contraction. Because he knows, but it is not part of his system, that issue. So it is attitudinal. You know, we have everything on paper mm -hmm. that should uh, support people or force people mm -hmm. to do the right thing. But the willpower of that it. individual is not there. And okay. that is a, where they have the, the contractor was mm. able to construct the ramp. Mm. Last week I was in uh, we, we Savannah. Need to go at, at you know what? Mm. The ramp that they have constructed is suicidal. If you put, you put somebody on it. That, it uh, will with, tumble and fall. Oh, yes. Why should it be? But if that contractor He's been paid. Yes. If that contractor and the one who supervised mm -hmm. and the one the, the, the one the engineer who drew the draw, if that person has a, a close relative mm. in a wheelchair, he would think otherwise. Okay, change our attitude. That's what we're talking about. Thank you, Joshua Makubo. He's a disability advocate and also Rosa Ohima Ofosuhima, I beg your pardon. She's a special education division uh, with the Ghana Education Service. That's how